For this project, I was sent the Let's Resin Epoxy Resin Kit. It included the resin, the mica powder, little um, little spoons for the mica powder. It included little measuring cups, large measuring cups, stir sticks. It included um, a tablecloth, a apron, gloves, and also a spreader. And the mica powder is real pretty. It comes with 10 cups of uh, little containers of mica powder in real pretty colors. And for this project, I end up using the blue and the white mica powders. I also was sent a coaster set. And the coaster set comes with each uh, set comes with five coasters and a coaster holder. Square, round, and octagon shaped. And for this project, I chose to use the square shapes. So this resin is a one-to-one -one ratio resin, uh, one part resin, one part hardener that you pour into a cup and mix slowly for about three minutes, scraping the sides and scraping the bottom. I have this way in fast forward or else you would be sitting here for three minutes with me doing this. Um, of course, it's important to wear gloves, wear a respirator, do it in a well-ventilated area. It was all mixed. I divided it into two cups and put the white mica powder in one and the blue mica powder in the other. I mixed some blue glitter flakes and then some chunky blue glitter into the one with the blue mica powder. And then I mixed some chunky white glitter and some fine white glitter into the one with the white mica powder and mixed them all together. Then in each of the coaster molds, I pour half white and half blue. And I think if I had to do it again, I would have put more blue and less white because the white is supposed to simulate the snow or the ground. And um, I just think it would have been prettier with more blue, but it still turned out real pretty. And I just smoothed them out. Now I put as little as I possibly could into each of these coasters because this is just the first layer. And I want it as thin as possible so that I can set my other um, items up on there without it extending over the top of the coaster. So again, I want this as thin as possible, but still full coverage. The work time for this resin is 40 to 50 minutes and the temperature should be between 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, a lot of times with molds, you will see the bubbles sticking around the sides of the molds. And I do use the kitchen torch on this. I'm not sure if I show it or not, but I do use it. And when you use any kind of heat on molds, you have to be very careful not to get the sides of the molds because you can damage the mold and cause the resin to stick to the mold. So about eight hours later, it was not tacky anymore. So I started with the second layer. So the demold time for this particular resin is eight to 24 hours, depending on the size of your project. And the fully cure time is two to three days. So I start assembling my project and I put those little reindeer on there. I had gotten those up at Hobby Lobby. And then the snowman, I also got up in Hobby Lobby. And this is all in the back. There's a, a center aisle that has all Christmas, all different Christmas stuff that they put out just at Christmas time. And I don't know if those little snowmen are for scrapbooking or what they are, but they're so cute. And then I took this is Ashland decorative filler that I got at Michael's. It was the silver reflective that I took out to the garage and spray painted with the Krylon Summer Green Translucent Spray Paint. And I put a little bit of glass on each of them and shaped them in the shape of a Christmas tree. Next, I took this four millimeter gold rhinestone chain and just cut three rhinestones off of it and used that for the trunk of the tree. And then for the star at the top of the tree, I used the tiny tree garland and cut a little snowflake off of it. This I also got up at Hobby Lobby in the area where they have the decorations for the tiny Christmas trees.
And then I had gotten this package of mini snowflakes on Timu. I thought they were so cute. And I just used three of them on each of the coasters to decorate up on the blue spot, on the blue part. And I just thought those looked real cute. Next, I mix up just a little bit more resin to just cover the decorations. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I'm afraid if I fill the coaster up all the way with resin, all the little pieces of glass will float away. So normally you'd probably do the bottom, put the, um, the little decorations on, and then fill it the rest of the way. But because they're little tiny pieces of glass, I'm just afraid they're going to float all over. So I just cover it very lightly so that everything will... Um, stick into place and let this dry for another um, eight hours or maybe it was only five hours this time and then I had these little tiny um, red oh gosh I think they're styrofoam glittery styrofoam balls teeny tiny that I had found in a package and I do not know where I got them from I might have got those from Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree last year and I took um, the teeny tiny red balls and put it on the Christmas trees to decorate them. Then five hours later, when that's set and not tacky anymore, I mix up the rest of the resin and I pour it into each of the coasters, filling them to the top. And this way, nothing floats away. Although I didn't show you... Um, me pouring this mold this is the actually the holder for the coaster that is me demolding it and I guess I could have done it in a lighter blue or a white it probably would have been prettier but um, it turned out very nice so then I took all five of them out of their mold and you can see this last one here how it has little bits of resin kind of hanging over the side and it can be kind of sharp so you just take a little sandpaper and go over just the edge. You should always wear a respirator if you're sanding resin. And you should just be able to go over it light. Don't go over the top and don't go over the side. Just do the very edge and it should clean it right off and it won't be sharp anymore. Hey everyone. So I finished my little coasters. I think they turned out so cute. Um, and I guess they're kind of translucent. I didn't realize. Um, can you see my finger behind it? I guess it doesn't matter though. You could have made them, uh, I could have made them more opaque or um, even more translucent, I guess. But um, I think they turned out real cute. My only suggestion is, so these are the Let's Resin coasters, which worked out great. And it's also the Let's Resin resin, which also worked out great. The only thing that I would do different next time is I would probably, if you're going to put something with some depth into it, uh, your coaster, you probably need a little bit deeper of a coaster. Now, these coasters are great for, um, you know, just to do mica powders or your alcohol inks and your swirls and stuff like that. But again, if you're going to use something that has any kind of depth, you'd probably be better. Anything thicker than what I just put in, you probably need to um, get a deeper coaster. But I just I love the way the Christmas tree turned out in there with the glass on it. And there are so many things, especially up at Hobby Lobby, that you could put in coasters that would just be so cute. But anyway, um, I think that turned out cute. And then this is the holder that I made for it. And that's real cute too. Now I could have done it, I probably should have done it a white or the light blue like I used on top, but I didn't. But you can, you know, you could make it any color that you want, whatever you want to do with it. But isn't that cool that it has a little holder with it too. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. We have the Facebook page going. It's growing really fast. I don't know, but um, I've never seen anything like it. I don't, I haven't really paid attention to Facebook in the past. I have my regular Facebook page, but I never have really done a lot with it. Um, just kept up with some old friends, I guess. But uh, this Facebook page, my gosh, we're over 5,000 people on it now. 
it's crazy and everybody is sharing, well not everybody, but a lot of people are sharing their glass art, um, asking questions, getting answers, newbies, people who've been doing it for years, people who are just glass artists like mosaic artists have never used resin before, people have only used resin and never used glass before. So it's a, it's a big variety of uh, different artists. So anyway, I hope you come join us there. Um, and, and also if you enjoyed this channel, go ahead and subscribe and you'll be notified when new videos come out and I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.